हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डीप बायोलॉजी टूडे वी विल डू द जीन डाइसेक्शन टू इन्वेस्टिगेट जीन एक्शन दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग द सी एस आई आर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल समेराइज दैट वट दिस टॉपिक टेल्स एंड देर आर सम जम्सन फॉर द बायोसिंथेटिक पाथवे फर्स्ट वन इज सिक्वेंसियल स्टेपिंग इट मीन्स दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल a substrate is converted into b and then b is converted into c and then c is converted into d it means this will occur in a sequential manner it does not occur like that a is converted directly into c or b is converted directly into d there should be sequential stepping now the second assumption is that completion of one step generate substrate for next step it means that a will convert it into b and then b will act as a substrate for the second sequential step now this b is converted into c and then c will act as a substrate for the next sequential step the third one is every step completion is necessary it means the all of the three step will require for completion of this biosynthetic pathway now there are some outcomes that the wild type strain encodes its step whereas mutant type strain does not encode its steps for example the enzyme 1 when found in wild type form it will convert a into b but when it is found in mutant form then there will be no conversion of a into b now what are the output that we can find out from gene dissection we can determine that how many number of steps occur for carrying out this biosynthetic pathway for example in this biosynthetic pathway there are three steps first second and third and we can also depict that what are the order of the steps that whether conversion of a into b occur first or conversion of b into c occur first now the third output is that that step affected by mutation it means we can determine which mutation occur in the step for example when there is mutation occur in step number 3 then there will be no conversion of c into d occur and if we add d in the media and there will be found growth this depicts that the mutation is found in 3 let us take an another pathway w is converted into x and x is converted into y and y is converted into z now there is found a mutation mutant 2 contain mutation at this site now when the compound w is added then w is converted into x and x is converted into y but this mutant 2 will not allow y to convert into z that's why the z compound is not produced here and there will be found no growth this z molecule is necessary for growth of the organism and now we can say that when w is added there is found no growth x is added there is found no growth and when y is added there is found no growth but when z molecule is added then there is found growth this suggests that the compound in which no growth is found they are found before the this mutant region 
in the pathway but the compound in which growth is found they are they are found after this mutation region now we will do question for understanding this concept let this is the table which is given there are different organism wild type mutant 1 mutant 2 mutant 3 and they are grown in the media containing a b c and d in case of wild type all enzymes are found in wild type form that's why there is found growth in a b c and d containing media but in mutant 1 the growth is not found in a b c but it is found in d containing media that's why the compound in which growth is found this is found after mutant 1 as i have explained earlier mutant now the all of the a b c compound are found just prior to the mutant 1 now in second case when mutant 2 is grown in presence of a b and d there is found growth but in case of compound c there is not found any growth this suggests that mutant 2 mutant 2 is found after c compound that's why c is the beginning molecule of this pathway in case of mutant 3 there is found growth in a and d this suggests that a and d compound are found after the mutant 3 but in case of b and c compound there is found no growth this suggests that the b and c compound are found before mutant 3 point this is our mutant 3 and the b and c compound are found before mutant 3 point c is already mentioned that's why b is found here now a and d compound are found after mutant 3 d is already mentioned that's why a is found here this is our biochemical pathway now we can check that whether our pathway is of right type or wrong type let take the mutant 1 when mutant 1 is grown in presence of a then the mutant 1 will not carry out this conversion into d and there is found no growth the d compound the end product of the pathway is necessary for growth now when b is added similarly when b is added then b is converted into a but a is not converted into d and there is not found any growth similarly in case of c but when d is added then there is found growth because the end product is already added now in case of mutant 2 the growth is found in a b and d because they are found after the mutant 2 region but there is not found any growth in mutant c because in this case the c will not be converted into b and in this way the last product d molecule is not found in case of mutant 3 there is found growth in a and d containing media because a and d are found after this mutant site when a is added then there is conversion of a into d and there will be growth similarly in case of d the end molecule is already added and there is found growth but when b and c molecule are added in mutant 3 then they are found prior to the this mutant 3 region the b will not converted into a and a is not further converted into d that's why 
there is not found any growth in B and C. This is our right order. If you find my video useful, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you and have a nice day.